What's up, data people? Let's talk about tables and pivot tables in Metabase. So first thing we'll do is ask Metabase a question. So we can say new question, and we'll go to the orders table. And just, that's it. That's all we got to do. Just hit visualize. And we'll have this nice table. And let's look at some of the options that we have to edit this. I think their table view is actually pretty cool so if we come in here to settings you can see if you look at id we could for instance hide id if i hit play you can see that's gone we can come over here so for like user id if i click on the ellipses we can change the title say it was just id i could change it here um, you can change the order of any of these so if you look at quantity Actually, let's take discount and move it over here by quantity. So we'll grab discount. We can move it down. Now it's by quantity. Um, if you have something like a measure, we can come here to quantity. And there's this cool option to show like a little mini bar chart. You see that there? Cool. Um, let's see. Oh, conditional formatting. Actually, let's go in here real quick, shut that off. And then there's conditional formatting, so we could add a rule here. So let's same, we'll go back to quantity. We could do a single color, you can do a color range, and you can see just like that. Looks good. You can click here to change the colors, reverse the order. All right. So that's that's the table. Let's go ahead and look at a pivot table. So we can come over here to this show editor. And let's go ahead and summarize. Let's look what we've been doing. We'll go sum of total, pick a column to group by. Let's go to product and category. Next, we'll hit visualize, go to visualization, and we'll click on pivot table. So here you can see we have a nice little pivot table created. You know, we have our grand totals that it shows and you can go ahead and just move, move items around here. So if you wanted it in a pivoted view. So yeah, that is tables and pivot tables. It also has the conditional formatting here. So play around with them. The tables are really good too when you drop them in a dashboard for sorting and things like that. So hopefully this lesson was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.